Hey y'all, it's Anime Kim, and today I'm going to be reviewing the 6th episode of Kyoya no Kotu, Kotubai Hikotai, episode 6. And I gotta say, I thought at the start of this episode we were going to get a relaxing, character-centered episode without any aerial combat, and I would have kind of been down with that. I'd be like, alright, alright, we'll probably find out more of the personal lives of our main crew. But then I kind of like how it just instantly just gave us a fighter pilot jet mission and I was like you know what I'm down for this too and it made for some interesting opportunities to give off some characterization for Rena because like how in this episode it kind of introduced more to her sides of her personality like how she doesn't like to be in depth with people and how at the same time when Rena's when it comes to like paying debts Rena gets super hyper desperate even though she doesn't like to say it explicitly because parts way in the episode reveals that the person they're doing the mission for which is Isao is actually an, an individual where Rena's got dealings with in the past where she pretty much got her life saved by this individual and that explains part of the reason why Rena took this mission since she was kind of the she was a leader since Madam wasn't there in the immediate fit in the immediates, in the immediate terms, he wasn't there. So all the decision making's up to Rena, and Rena typically is kind of cold and calculative. But in this situation, she's all trying to like take out most of these fighter pilots and all that kind of stuff to kind of show out and to kind of kind of get rid of the debt that um, that Isao that she was in under Isao so that was also nice too and the sweet thing is Isao probably does, he doesn't even know about this kind of shit either that's what makes this stuff kind of kind of funny because to Rena she cares even though Isao doesn't really know because he saved multiple people and Rena just happened to be one of the people that were saved so I like that it shows the morals of Rena and it makes her much more likable so I'd say from a character standpoint, it did well in giving characterization for her. It did a good job of introducing Isao, making him kind of likable. Especially when he took jokes kind of too far. When he was just doing magic trick after magic trick and while you had Chaka Wood. And then you have... And then when he introduced Rena, and it's, it was like this kind of little cute little trap. And then she was kind of like passive about it. And then when he's using these magic tricks. And then Julia's just getting her fucking... She's just being freaking annoyed. So I kind of like that too. It gives him a bit of quirkiness. And especially when the episode revealed the twist that he can actually operate a fighter, fighter jet. I was some pretty badass shit. Because I like how in this episode it kind of increased. It kind of showed soft some tension because our main crew was struggling against the pirates until Esau showed up and just fucking wiped the floor with a lot of these mofos. And I was like, damn! This guy, he's got a cool personality, but he ain't no joke. He can defend himself and scrap if he has to. So I kind of like that, how it gave me an expectation of Esau possibly being someone that isn't able to defend himself to, like, completely changing my mindset on him. So that was another cool thing the episode did from the character standpoint. Even though Esau was only introduced to one episode, he made an impression and he was nice. So And he was badass. So that was also another cool thing. And then you had some nice... Kylie and um, Chike uh, character moments with them joking with each other. And then you even had, um, I think, these pilots that we saw in the first episode who even give Kylie the nickname of Little Miss Pancake. And I was like, oh shit. That describes her so perfectly, man. I'll, I might have to start using that whenever I describe Kylie on occasions. Holy shit. So this episode also had some nice, lighthearted dialogue, too. And that's also felt it was nice from the story department because I laughed a bit watching this episode. And it was also nice to discover the characters in this episode too. And what makes a good plot progression because they have successfully protected Esau and Julia when they were making the when they were oh, because there's two there were two political figures talking, and I kinda like that how we made some plot progress. At least our main cast went through the mission. And it was also nice to get to see more of Rena's personality. Now that we've come to this point, at the very least, I could decently say that a good amount of the cast has been kind of fleshed out. The only one left that needs their episode is the Great Hurt Chick. 
from my main crew. But I'm sure she's going to get her episode eventually. So I kind of like that. for This episode for these reasons. And the animation for the CG um, fighter jets were pretty nice. Again, the only weakness is the same weakness that every single fucking episode has, which is the CG for the human characters is not as good as the hand-drawn human characters. And I was like, that's really the only thing that could keep this anime from greatness, where it's accessible to, like, more viewers. But there, there was definitely more good on the animation standpoint. And the art was breathtaking, as always, when it came to backgrounds. And that's why I'm going to rate this episode an 8 out of 10. I thought it was pretty darn good. So anyways, guys and guys, leave my thoughts in the episode. Comment down your thoughts and those below in the comment section. Rate the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more. Alright. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.